Hi everybody, this is Brenda Balance, B Balanced Art. I'm doing another balloon smash today, but this is a little different. This one is a swipe, then a balloon smash. And we're going to be using a pre-used canvas. Um, I wasn't crazy about how this one came out. It's not bad, but it's a little dark for my taste. So we're going to do something a little brighter today. Enjoying a nice sunny day. We got a little bit of cloud cover, but most of it's been sunny. It's just how I like it. I'm using a lot of reds. And we're going to swipe with black. This one is Artist Loft Brilliant Red. This one was Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red. This one was Magenta, made by Saks. And this one is Liquitex Basics Cadmium Red Deep Hue. I'm going to be swiping with black. Take the black. Looks like I have a clog. I used a lot more than I need, but I wanted to get the clog out of there. And the paper towel is my swiping tool. Gently lay it into the black, just a little bit back from the edge. Make sure it gets good contact all the way across with the black. And then slowly swipe. You can actually do a little motion as you swipe. Or you can pull it straight across. Got a lot of air bubbles in this one. But that's all right what the torch is for. Let's get rid of those air bubbles. I have no silicone in this. Looks like I do have some icky stuff in here. I think maybe I will swipe it one more time because I do want more black. Once again, a clog. Ah! Luckily, I didn't throw this away yet because I thought I might need to swipe a second time, and I do. Because I really want a lot of black in this one. Once again, slowly go across, dragging the black with you. This is a pretty small canvas. It's an 8x10. I usually do this on a bigger one, but an 8x10 will work for demonstration purposes. Okay. This time I'm going to throw this away, trying not to drip on the painting. Torch again. I think I need to make up some new black. This stuff seems lumpy. All right. Now, the balloon smash. This is the part I love. It pulls that red to the top. Pushes the black down. 
can give you a beautiful pattern. Now I'll go for the smaller balloon. <coughs> Excuse me, still still with the allergies. I just love the uh the way the black looks with the red underneath coming through. You definitely don't want to make it too busy using too many balloon smashes, but I just love the way it looks, so I'll probably do just a couple more before I quit. Wiping my balloon in between, unless I'm trying to move the red, which I'm going to do right now. I'm going to move some more red. This is just a very cool effect, very easy to do. You can do it with any color. Red just happens to be my favorite color for this technique, but. I've done it with blue and green and purple also, and it's a very easy thing to do, and it comes out just gorgeous. So I think I should stop while I'm ahead, because I actually really like this. Let me give you a close-up of it. All the little colors are popping through. The black just gives it such a pop with that red. But as I said, this can be done with blue, green, purple, even multicolors. Oh, that was a very quick and easy one to do. The, what took the longest was mixing up the paint and getting the paint all ready. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you're going to try this yourself. And if you do, please post it. Please put it in my comments. I'd love to see what yours look like and what colors you decide to use. Um, I guess that's it for now. So I'm going to say have a wonderful day. This is Brenda from Be Balanced Art saying have a good day. Bye-bye.